Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're back here today with another challenge video. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit, so let's get on with the crafts. Let's go! Now, here we go with DIY number one. Right, today, all of our projects are inspired by our Green Acres. I saw her make something similar to these, and so I thought I'd try some. And we have gone cra carrot crazy here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of the, take some clothespins, and we're going to take them apart. And as we take them apart, we're going to save all the little pieces from it, and then we're going to take the two wooden pieces, and we are going to... Uh, glue them together with hot glue. Now, I would suggest you use wood glue if you want these to stay permanently together, but for video purposes, I used hot glue. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this outrageous orange uh, paint that's a multi-surface paint, and it is a satin paint, and we're going to paint these clothespins and these spindles, and I'm going to show you all the different things that we're making here. So the first thing we're going to do is start with these clothespins. Then we're going, now here they are all painted up and ready to go. So we're going to take some of these little uh, sprigs of greenery that I pulled off of a wreath that I had, and I'm going to cut those little tips that they were attached to off and I am going to put them on we're going to attach them together and put them here on our clothespins for our carrots. Now I'm just going to take a piece of uh, this twine that you get from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm making sure that all my little carrot top things are facing outward. Now you could use raffia for this you could use string, you could use ribbon. It's whatever you have on hand. Now I had these on hand and I was crafting them from my, crafting things from my stash. And here's the string that I found and I am going to take and cut me a piece of it so that I can tie these together. Now let me get it here in view for you. And I'm gonna take and just wrap it around, tie it like you tie your shoes, except for I'm gonna tie a knot instead of a bow. And yeah. And these things aren't wanting to work with me, but it's not this hard. <laughs> Trust me, it's not. Um, and I'm going to just tie a little bow. Man, I, I, you know what? I forgot to put this on fast speed for y'all. Hold on, let me fix this for y'all. So anyway, you're just going to tie a knot and then you're going to trim your strings up. Now that's funny. Now that's a lot better. Um, because I know I tie, tie faster than that, but yeah, in slow motion. Now I tied a bow. You could tie a bow, and I was going to, and then glue it on. But it just didn't look good up there, so I'm going to make a bow in a different place, and I'm going to trim those strings off. So I left my bow tied while I'm doing this, but then I changed my mind, and I am going to, yep, I'm going to pull them strings right apart. Yeah, because I didn't like how it looked. It just didn't look, just didn't have that look like I wanted it to look. So I'm trimming them off, and then I'm going to take some more, uh, I'm going to take some jute cord, and I'm going to wrap it around my fingers and then I'm going to tie it off with a string here in the center and then I'm going to pull it off of my fingers and it's going to make one of those loopy bows. Now if you want to watch somebody make this and do a really really good job at it you need to watch Brenda over at Rustic and Lace DIY because she does an awesome job on making these bows. And I don't know how to explain it like she does but she does a good job so you all need to go check her channel out. She's on this playlist um, this t this time and she's a host so go check out our channel she's doing a great job over there now I am going to take and glue this little bow down and then I'm going to take and make me another one of these little bows out of this green string but I'm only going to wrap it around two fingers instead of three fingers and make it the same way and then we're going to add this to it and we'll see the rest of this one at the final reveal you guys our video today is the recreation inspiration it's brought to us every month on the eighth of the month and it is hosted by amanda over at six kids and a glue gun and myself at crafty art shack and our co-host this month is brenda with rustic and lace designs go check out these ladies channels because they're doing an awesome job and also check out the playlist because there's a group of ladies that are participating in this and they this challenge and they do an awesome job also so go check them out you don't want to miss them now here we go with diy number 
two. Now for our next set of clothespins, uh, I think I got the wrong clothespins. Yep, I do. Uh, let me put these clothespins. We're going to take these and paint them with the Outrageous Orange as well. Now that we've got them all painted and they're dried, these are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a 12 inch piece of lace. You're going to need some ribbon or uh, something like that. You're going to need some greenery. And then I got some of these little pearls off of a wedding thing. And what I'm doing is I'm taking and sticking these two pieces of greenery together and adding a little bit of uh, hot glue there to glue them together. And then I'm going to add the little pearls on there to just kind of give them a little bit of uh, different stuff in there. And these turned out so cute, you guys. I really like these. And so the next thing you're going to do after you get all of these together and get it all good and glued, then you're going to take the your clothespin and you're going to put a generous dab of glue. And I said generous. Don't worry about the glue because we're going to cover it up. And we're going to stick this on it and hold it until it completely dries nice and solid. And it's important that you let it dry nice and solid. Now once it's dry, I'm going to go back in there and add a generous amount of glue up the shaft of the little greenery. And then once that dries, then I'm going to go in there and I am going to take a piece of this. This is a piece of uh, material that I, sheer material that I had. And I'm going to just take it and fold it in half. Fold the center to that middle and fold it in the middle again and then fold it one more time. Now, did that make sense? In other words, I don't want any raw edges sticking out. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to use this to give that that base of the greenery something to stick to the orange part of the carrot part that I'm making. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to start with some more hot glue and we're going to cover this up. Now you're not going to see this once we tie our little ribbon on here and we're just going to go around this maybe one time giving it a good snug fit and then we're going to trim that off. Now after we get this trimmed off, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out that, uh, I think it was about 12 inches or 10 inches of lace that I had, and we are going to make us a cute little bow around this, and we're going to go right over the top of the uh, satin piece of material that I had there, and we're just going to make us a little knot. We're going to tie it tight, and then we're going to tie another knot, and there we go. We'll see the rest of this one at the final reveal. Now here we go with DIY number three. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this spindle here and we're going to paint it with the Outrageous Orange. Now we're going to grab us a bunch of that greenery and we're going to cut those little ends off and we're going to take a piece of this fern and some of those little beads. There's our spindle and another piece of that satin and a 12 inch piece of lace. Now I'm going to take all of these and bunch them all together. I'm going to cut all the little tips off of them so that I can get them to nice and close together. And we're going to stuff one of these uh, pieces of fern in here just to give it a different look with the greenery. And once we get all of this together, we're going to stick those little pearls in there. And then we're going to take the pearls and we're going to start wrapping it around with the little wire that is already on there and start adding that in to our little bunch until we get all of these little pieces of greenery added together to make our carrot top. Yeah, we kind of went carrot crazy over here. I have this little uh, rabbit that you're going to see in the final reveal pictures that I just love to pose with some carrots at the in the springtime. And I always think about in the springtime planting the garden and all of this stuff, the carrots coming up and everything. And I made this little carrot that's going to be the next DIY that you're going to see. It turned out so cute. It reminds me of when I go out there to the garden and this is what my carrots turn out like short and stubby in my garden. <laughs> but they are so cute and they do taste like carrots. I don't know why I can't get them to grow long, but it it is what it is. Now, once I get all my little carrots together, uh, carrot tops together, I'm going to take and drop some hot glue down in the spindle that already had a hole in it. And I'm going to add a generous amount of glue. And I am going to stuff these down in there 
and just make sure you push them down in there really tight. Some of that little white stuff is still going to show from the little pearls that I put on it, but that's okay because I'm going to take and add, there it is, my little piece of uh, satin material, and I'm going to just wrap it around starting right here and going around the top of our little carrot. And all of these carrots turned out so cute. I just, I needed to make some for the booth, so I thought I would bring y'all along for the journey. And that what a perfect time to make them for the spring recreation video. And I just love them. And so I'm gonna go around a couple of times on these bigger carrots with this, add some glue when I get down here to the end, and then just put it down in the glue and trim all of this up. Then the next thing I do is I take my 12 inch piece of lace and I'm going to center it right on the center of my carrot. And I'm going to make a little knot first. And this time I am going to tie a bow and I'm going to leave these kind of long because I want them to have that long lacy look. And these turned out absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to put them in the booth because I know all of my um, customers are just going to love these. And that's it for this one, and we'll see it at the final reveal. Here's DIY number four. For this last carrot, I am going to take a bunch of these uh, little carrot top pieces, fern pieces, and I'm going to tie them all together with one of those little pearl things. Now, you guys, when I pick grow my garden and I pick my carrots, this is what my carrots look like when they come out of the garden. I don't know why. I don't have any rocks or nothing in my garden that makes them go like this. But I took one of these little children's blocks that was already painted orange, and I'm going to take and drop a generous amount of hot glue in there, and I'm going to stick my little carrot tops down in there, and then I'm going to turn it over and glue it from the bottom side, and I'm going to trim any extra ones off that stick out the bottom, and then I'm going to... Um, do something. Yeah, here I go. I'm going to take a piece of this lace and put it over the hole in the bottom. And I couldn't make carrots without making one that looks like what comes out of my garden. I think it's funny. And then after I get through uh, gluing this lace on the bottom of it, I'm going to trim it up. I'm going to tie a little piece of uh, that lace around the top of this and trim it up. And then we'll see this one at the final reveal. With no more hospital stays, no more nothing else like that. And we're just praising God for our, and giving him the glory for all the health and healing he has done in my body. And we want to thank y'all all so much for all the prayers and everything that y'all did and for blessing us so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go with the final reveal. I hope you like it. Now, don't all these little carrots look so cute sitting in this little white bowl with the bunny? Isn't he adorable? You guys, all of these absolutely turned out gorgeous, and I enjoyed making them what screams spring better than a bunch of carrots. And bunny rabbits come into your garden to thieve your carrots. Anyway... I thank you guys for watching, and I also want to let y'all know that Beth and I opened a booth at the Avonlea Mall. It's called the Chic Shack, and in that mall, we've added a bunch of new stuff to our booth, like we've added a wedding section, and we've added Dixie Belle paints and chalk mineral paints and silk paints line. Now, here's our chalk paints. They are located down on the wall, just down from our booth. Here's our main booth, and in our main booth is where the silk furniture paint is located. Y'all come check us out because we're doing some awesome stuff over there and adding new things every week. And here is one of the new lion paintings we just added to the booth. Come check us out. We'd love to see you. Turn out awesome. So you guys, if you like this content, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and give us that big thumbs up because it really helps our channel out. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We'll see you later. Bye.